After I posted my video on the Bravo Throttle Quadrant Autopilot, there was a question in the comments section about the flight director. Now, as a pilot in real life, I take some of these terms for granted, I assume, and it was pointed out that not all my viewers are necessarily going to know what a flight director is. So in my prior video, I first pointed it out when I told the viewers to watch the magenta bars as I hit the to go button on the uh, autopilot and it showed the magento bars rise up to a fixed pitch attitude which is used for takeoff or a go around. So one of my viewers asked me if the to go button is the flight director and the answer to that is no. To best explain the flight director let me first give you a brief rundown of the primary flight display. If you follow my mouse to the left is the airspeed indicator, next is the angle of bank and the turn coordinator, to the right here is our altitude indicator, the attitude indicator or ADI, the HSI or horizontal situation indicator, and finally the VSI or vertical speed indicator. Now bring your attention over to the attitude indicator. This yellow symbol here is the aircraft symbol. It represents your aircraft's attitude in relation to the white line which is the artificial horizon. As you can see here the yellow symbol is above the horizon and you can see over on the altitude indicator in the VSI we are climbing. If I bring the aircraft down to the white horizon, you can see the altitude stops climbing. If I go below the horizon, you can now see that the altitude is falling. So now let's turn the flight director on. You can see it puts these magenta lines right above the aircraft symbol in the ADI. Unless you've previously set up some other kind of direction in your autopilot, such as heading, nav, or a climb, etc., it's going to start in a roll and pitch mode, which you can see in the autopilot enunciator at the top of the primary flight display. These modes simply hold your current roll and pitch, so whatever attitude your aircraft was in at the time of hitting the flight director or turning the autopilot on, it's going to hold that attitude now the autopilot still disengaged and I'm hand flying the aircraft. So if you make a change with the autopilot, the command bars are going to visually show you what the autopilot's trying to do. And if the autopilot's disconnected and only the flight director is on, you can hand fly the change by following the command bars. Let me demonstrate by hitting the to go button like I did in my prior video. You can see the command bars immediately are instructing me to pitch the aircraft up. I'll pull up and try and put my aircraft symbol just underneath the V-bars so that the yellow symbol is just sitting underneath the magenta ones. Now if I go up to the autopilot and I put altitude hold on, it'll bring the command bars back down to the horizon and instruct me to move the aircraft to a level attitude. And once again, my job is to try and put the yellow aircraft indicator right below the magenta command bars. Now that you see how the flight director works manually, let me put the autopilot on. So now essentially the autopilot is keeping my airplane symbol right below the magenta command bars. You can see it's holding the 5,000 foot altitude and it's holding the heading. Now I'm going to change the heading here and engage the heading bug, which is going to command a left hand turn. You can see the magenta bars turn left, instructing the aircraft to turn left and then the autopilot is moving the yellow aircraft symbol to keep up with the magenta lines. As we approach our heading, the command bars will roll back to the right, as you can see, and then the aircraft follows. So the magenta bars always kind of lead, and then the airplane follows. So now let's set the autopilot for a higher altitude. I'll go up to 6,000 feet. And if you remember from my prior video, once you've set an altitude, now you have to tell the autopilot how you want to get there and the choices are IAS or flight level change or VS vertical speed. I'm going to choose a flight level change. Now I'm going to decrease my airspeed selection so that I climb at 190 knots. And you can see the magenta bars climbed causing the aircraft to then enter a climb. If I go up to the heading and change my heading you can see the command bars are telling the aircraft to do a climbing left turn and the aircraft turns to do what's instructed. The GPS has a CDI needle pointing a little bit to the left of my current heading. So I'm going to go to the autopilot and put it in nav mode. And you can see the command bars are commanding a turn to the left and the autopilot then follows the command bars by turning the aircraft to the left. 
as it gets to the heading, you'll see the command bars are commanding a roll back to the right and the aircraft rolls back to the right. If you look at the MFD, you can see the aircraft is now on an intercept course for the GPS track. So you can see the flight director is essentially telling you or the autopilot what to do based on what selections are made at the autopilot control head. If you're hand flying the aircraft, you follow the command bars. If the autopilot's flying it, it follows the command bars. Now let's jump into the 747 cockpit. You can see here, this flight director looks very different. Instead of the command bars being V bars, these are needles. The horizontal needle is for pitch up and down, and the vertical needle is for left and right roll. You can see from the autopilot enunciators at the top of the primary flight display, to go is activated. That is why the horizontal line is indicating a pitch up attitude for takeoff. So let's get airborne. You can see the flight director is indicating a climb. The aircraft is indicated by these black marks here as opposed to the yellow ones. So now I'm going to go up and change the vertical speed. I'm going to lower it and as I lower it, if you look over at the PFD, you can see the flight director horizontal uh, needle is coming down to the white horizon. If I lower it all the way to zero, it should command a level flight attitude. Now let me change the heading. Now the needle, the vertical needle will slide to the left, commanding a turn of the aircraft to the left. Once the turn's established, the needle will center up again, commanding the aircraft just to hold that rate of turn. As it approaches its heading, the needle will begin to slide to the right, telling the aircraft to start to roll back to the right. And once you're on heading, the needle will center up again. Okay, I'm going to stop it right here. I think that's a pretty good uh, overall view of what the flight director is doing. Hope you found this video valuable and that it has increased your knowledge about the flight director and how it relates to the autopilot.